Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Codflix. Today we'll be taking a look at the new JetJet Jet Ultra Drone. Now this here is the ultimate mini drone from a company called Moda. Moda creates a lot of different drones as well as this one, which is actually the top of the line in terms of mini scale drones. Now this offers the same capabilities that we see in larger drones, including videography as well as virtual reality. So I'm really excited to try this out. But before we do, let's go and take a closer look at the box before we open it up. All right, so this here is our box itself, and as you can tell, it's actually very, very small. Now, the quality of the box, I would say, is actually about 10 out of 10. That's just because it's actually got a very nice finish to it, and the actual drone itself, the logo is embossed, and it's actually got like a nice, nice gloss finish as well as a matte finish as well. So they actually did do a lot of work on the box, which is very nice to see. Now, this here is the Jet Jet Ultra, as we already mentioned. And, and on the front, it does show that you can actually do virtual reality capability. So you can actually see what the drone sees. But it does come outside of it, so you would have to purchase it yourself. On the side here, it does show the different uh, models as well. So there's an Ultra, a Live W, a Nano C, as well as a Nano. The one we're looking at today is actually the Ultra over here. So this includes a four-channel system. 3D tumbling, a super responsive capability, recording capability, photo video capture, live streaming, smartphone controlled, throw to fly, auto hover, as well as a one touch takeoff slash landing. So it's actually got a lot of features in here, so I'm really excited to try this out. Now on the back here kind of shows you more details about the drone itself. So if we kind of look on the side over here, so this here is actually the controller that it mounts to. And you can actually mount your phone as well to it, which is actually a very nice feature. So you have a live stream, uh, streaming capability. Uh, then it shows mode one, mode two, uh, throttle, flight stick, adjustable grip, so kind of like slides open and close. Uh, one touch takeoff, as well as directional flight. And then the drone itself has LED lights as well as uh, the propeller blades and also has bumpers on it as well. So in case you're still learning how to fly, uh, it will kind of help you in terms of if you crash it. And then it does show that it come, it does work with the App Store as well as Google Play. Uh, so it kind of shows you the dimensions. So it's 28 millimeters by 45 millimeters and weighs about eight grams. Now this here kind of shows you the different uh, functions again. So the one touch, throw to fly, autopilot, 360 degrees aerial stunts. Uh, different speed modes, uh, quick charging, motion sensor modes, so you can actually kind of rotate the phone and it'll actually fly with it. As well as a HQ camera, as well as Wi-Fi and group play. So it's actually got a lot of different things here. On the bottom kind of just shows the safety and then on the top just shows the logo. Now this here actually kind of slides open like that and then we actually see the drone itself. That's really cool. So it's actually very, very small and it's kind of sitting in the middle of the controller. This here is our controller. Uh, over here kind of shows the package contents. So it will include the drone, a controller, four blades, a USB charging cable, as well as a manual. Uh, we already kind of looked at the uh, specifications. Other than the flight time is about four to six minutes, as well as the charging time, which is about 25 to 30 minutes, and a Wi-Fi distance of 65 to 130 feet. So looks pretty cool from what I'm seeing. So I'm really excited to try this out. So let's go and open this up a little bit more and take a look at the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this out here. Uh, so we have a instruction manual. Let's look at this for now. Now this here is the owner's manual. Uh, we got a lot of different paperwork in here. Now this talks about safety uh, in terms of table of contents. So we have how to fly it, how to do motion sensor mode, as well as troubleshooting. So it kind of explains everything in detail. So I will definitely read up on this. Now there's an app version of it where you can actually fly using the controls as well, which kind of shows right here in the picture. So uh, that's something that interesting to see. Then this talks about the different flight summaries and how to extend, descend, uh, rotate, etc. Uh, and yeah, so let's go and put that to the side. Now this here looks like it just talks about learning how to fly safely, which is interesting. Uh, then we have a thank you. And then we can go ahead and register our product as well as how to start it up. And this is a quick start guide, so it just kind of shows you exactly how to start it up, insert the battery, etc. So let's go ahead and look at the actual package itself. This is what we're here to see. So let's go ahead and take that out. And, okay. 
Uh, all right, so this here is our phone holder. So actually it looks like it adjusts in terms of size, which is good because I have a bigger phone. So I'll put that to the side for now. Now this here is actually a very nice quality controller. Now I'm sure you guys can't feel it, but this here is actually, it's a rubber grade material. So it's not plastic, but it's actually got a very nice comfortable feel to it. Uh, it is mainly plastic from what I'm seeing. There's buttons here, there's buttons here, and then joysticks. Uh, looks like we have two AAA battery placements over here. So we'll go ahead and put that in, but uh, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the drone, shall we? All right, so this here is our little baby drone. And <laughs> wow, that is so small. I have not seen a drone this small before. Uh, wow, that is so tiny. I am actually quite amazed by the quality of this. This is really cool. And then there's a little tiny camera on here as well. And oh, that is so cool. Just to give you a little size comparison, let me go ahead and grab a bigger drone. I have one set to the side here. <laughs> All right, so here is a size comparison just so you guys can see the difference in size of a like a normal size drone and then our little tiny mini drone. So it's actually very crazy to see that, but uh, yeah, really cool. Uh, obviously, you know, we flew, I flew, uh, flew drones before, so this is actually a first time seeing something this tiny. All right, so in addition to the actual drone, we have some extra pieces here. So we have some extra wing pieces just in case of the, the fans break. And then we have a guardrail, which is nice. This is the, like the bumper guard. And then we have a charger. So let's go ahead and charge this up and give it a test flight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly the actual drone downstairs just so I can get a little bit more room. Uh, so I have it turned on, the lights are blinking saying that it's ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and place it over here on a flat surface. All right, so I'm all set here. I have my app ready to go. I have the actual control set up so I can actually pull this out here so I get a better feel of the actual drone itself. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit play. It'll give me a live feed of the actual drone right over there. Let me go and turn on the remote up, down, so now it is in control, and we're ready to fly. So let's just go ahead and give it a quick test run and see how this works. I'm actually gonna try doing it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing at the same time. So off the back, I'm gonna tell you, this drone is very stable. Um, it's got a very nice, smooth control to it, especially for being something so small. Uh, let me see if I can get it closer to the camera for you guys. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, huh? So, uh, it's pretty quick. And then we do have the live feed on it as well. Uh, so as you can tell, I can actually see everything that I'm doing at the same time. So that's actually a very nice feature. So let me just go ahead and focus on that. So like say if I want to go upstairs, all I have to do is to kind of rotate it. And I'm just looking at the screen only. So let's just go ahead and move forward. So we're upstairs right now. We're now in the living room. <laughs> this is so cool. So let's go ahead and bring it back down. And we have it back down again, that is so cool. So uh, yeah, very interesting drone. Uh, let's see if we could do any tricks. Oh, there you go, it just did a flip. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but we'll just go and try it again. There you go, those are some flips. <laughs> really cool. All right, well that gives you an idea of what the drone's about. Obviously for the size itself, it actually has a lot of technology, especially with the whole live camera footage from something so small is actually really remarkable. Now I've never seen anything this small in the sense of a drone before, so it was actually very new to me as well as something really cool to see. 
Now, the only downside about this drone is the actual time that you can actually play with it. You only do get about five minutes of battery life before it does drain, and it does take about 20 to 30 minutes for a full charge. Now, obviously for the size itself, you know, that's pretty much what's gonna happen, but I really did enjoy it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Uh, again, I do recommend it for a lot of my viewers out there. If you do want to look for a mini drone with a nice camera on it, this is the way to go. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.